class. Today, we're going to go over integration using tri trigonometric substitution. But before that, let's go over how you want to study calculus. Well, so my name is Aton Pellet, and I'm going to be your teacher for today, your professor. So you have to do math to study, to practice your problems like you work out. So first of all, I want to apologize because I'm really sick. So I'm not usually like this. And anyways, back to that now. You want to work out hard, but you don't just pick one thing. Like you don't just want to do sit-ups. You, you have to make sure you do your sit-ups, but don't only do your sit-ups. Once you get a six pack, you have to move on and start doing your arms. Same way, you don't want to just only practice trigonometric intervals. Once you get really good at those, you have to move on to other things like partial fractions and so on. Okay, so the first function that we're going to work with is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. We're going to try to integrate that. That's going to be our function f of x. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the square root sign. We, we, we don't want that there. That makes things very complicated. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use trick substitution. So you'll notice that this function is defined between negative 1 and 1 because we can't have 0 in the denominator. So we are going to use sine which, and we're going to have it defined between negative 5 over 2 and pi over 2. So we're going to let x equal the sine of theta. So then dx is going to equal cosine of theta d theta. And then we're going to substitute back in. So we have f of x equals 1 over, sorry, the integral, 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta times cosine theta d theta. And that's, we're substituting for dx there. And then you'll notice that 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared because side, we kind of put a square in there sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So here we have theta, but it's, you know, it's just a variable. So we have that equals the integral 1 over square root of cosine squared theta times cosine theta d theta, which equals the square root of 1, sorry, cosine theta d theta over cosine theta, which makes it much easier. There we go. We got rid of our square root sign, which is what we wanted to do. And then these cancel. So then this equals theta plus a constant. And then now we have to substitute back in. So x equals the sine of theta. So we're going to take the inverse sine of both sides. So then we get, so this is also a side. So this, here we have x, sorry, theta is going to equal the arc sine of x, which is going to equal f of x minus a constant because that. So then we have integrated. 1 minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. We just learned how to solve the integral of 1 over 1 minus x squared. Sorry, the square root of that dx. And I want to apologize my uh, my pen ran out of ink. I really hate doing it on this piece of paper. I'm so used to doing it on the whiteboard. But if you like this better, just let me know, class, and I'll use this. Okay. And we know that that equals the arc sine of x plus c. And but see, this this one's pretty easy. So now we know how to do that, and you can just memorize that. You, you shouldn't memorize it, but you use the method. So next we're gonna do something a little more difficult. So we're gonna take the integral of one over square root of twenty-five minus four x squared. So you'll see they're sort of similar, but they're not exactly the same. So that's dx. And we're going to let that equal 
smiley face. So the first thing we want to do, just like before, is we want to get rid of that square root. But it's not as easy this time. We can't just go to sine. We have to have some numbers in front of it. This time, we're going to put a 5 up on top of the fraction next to the sine of theta. The reason we're going to do that is because we're going to end up squaring this, so then we'll get the 25, and then we'll be able to pull that out, and we can do the square root of that, and just pull it totally out of the integrand. So you'll see in a second what I'm talking about, but it's going to make things easier. And, but then we also have to get rid of that 4. So again, we can't just put the 4 on. We have to have the square root of 4. So we have 5 halves sine of theta. And then we derive that. We take dx equals 5 halves times the cosine of theta d theta. And then we're going to substitute back in. We get smiley face equals the integral of 1 over the square root of 25 minus 4 times 5 halves sine theta squared. And this whole thing is times 5 halves times the cosine theta d theta. And so in the next step, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it out. So this equals 5 halves times the integral 1 over the square root of 25 minus 10 fourths sine squared theta. And this whole thing is going to be times that 4. So I'm moving this 4 over here. And this is still times cosine of theta d theta. And so now, these 4s cancel. I'm sorry, this isn't, a, this isn't a 10, this is a 25. Sorry about that. And this equals, so you know, next step, this equals 5 halves times the integral of 1 over the square root. And then we can pull out 25. So 25 times 1 minus sine squared theta times cosine of theta d theta. So you'll see we have that 1 minus sine squared there. That's going to lead us to the way that we integrated that. OK. And then, so this will be end up being 1 over 5 times the square root of that, because the square root of 25 is 5. So then the 5s are going to cancel. So we have smiley face equals one half times the integral of one over square root one minus sine squared theta times cosine of theta d theta. So remember, I, this 25, I took the square root, pulled it out, the five's canceled. So this is again, so square root of 25 cancels with the five. Okay, next, next page. Again, I'll rewrite that last step. We have smiley face equals the integral, sorry, one half times the integral of cosine theta d theta over the square root one minus sine squared theta. And this equals one half times the integral of cosine theta d theta over cosine theta d theta, because just like we did in the last step, we substituted cosine squared for 1 minus sine squared, and then I take the square root, and then these cancel. Scratch that. So then this equals 1 half times theta plus c. And then remember we had that x equals up here x equals 5 halves times the sine of theta. Sine theta. So, we're going to have 2x over 5. We're solving for theta here. Equals sine theta. And theta equals the arc sine 2x over 5 
which equals smiley face minus C. So you, you just add the C back over there and you get the solution for, for smiley face. And that is how you take the integral of 1 over the square root of 25 minus 4x squared. Thank you. Hello class, today is Monday, so as usual, we're going to be taking a quiz. The first problem on this quiz, number one, is going to be, I want you to take the integral of 1 over x squared plus 4 dx. And number two, it's going to be the integral of 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1 dx. Good luck. Okay, class, you've got 10 minutes for your quiz. Ready? Go. So I know that I'm going to have to substitute tan theta for x here. So I'm going to start by making x equal to 2 tan theta. So when I substitute that, I'll cancel out the 4 as well. My dx is going to be 2 secant squared theta. So I can start by making this equal to i. i is equal to the integral of 2 secant squared theta over 2 tan theta squared plus 4. i equals the integral of 2 secant squared theta over 4 tan squared theta plus 4. I'm going to pull out the x, or the 4 on the bottom here. Tan squared theta plus 1. I'm going to go i equals the integral of 2 secant squared theta over 4. And I know this by trig substitutions. That's equal to secant squared theta. I can pull out 1 half here, cancel those out. And then these both cancel out to 1. I have the integral of 1 half theta plus c. I'm going to go back up here and see that my theta is equal to inverse tan of x over 2. I can plug that back into the bottom here. That is my final answer. Moving on to number two, I realize that this is going to be a trig substitution at well using secant. So I'm going to make x equal to secant theta, dx equal to secant theta tan theta. Plug that back into the integral. I have secant theta tan theta over secant theta uh, secant theta squared minus 1 on the bottom d theta d theta um, moving on I have secant theta tan theta over secant theta Secant squared theta minus 1. <laughs> um, this is another one of my trig substitutions, which comes out to tan squared theta. So I can put that in. The squared and square root cancel out on the bottom, giving me secant theta tan theta. on both the top and bottom, which will all cancel out, giving me just the integral of uh, 1. Coming out, i is equal to theta. If we go back up here and see that our x 
is equal to secant theta, therefore theta is equal to the inverse secant. Um, plug that back into the bottom and have i equal to this plus c inverse secant x. That's my final answer.